Hello, all you pioneers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and we are back in Satisfactory 1.0. Well, <coughs> I have to qualify today. I've been fighting a bit of a cold, and so we'll see how well it goes today. We'll see how long I can manage to keep a voice going and not uh, cough up a storm in your ear. So, When we finished last time, we had gotten to the objective. We've got to build the space elevator. And our next milestone is Logistics MK2. We had gotten uh, burners in, uh, biomass burners, to operate the iron production that we're going to be doing. And so we already have our copper facility going over there. We've got our down below down there. Uh, off in the distance, we have our limestone and concrete uh, production going on. So today, we want to try to get another milestone done, and we want to get to where we can build our reinforcement plates. So if we come over here to this side over here, we've got plates that are building up. Uh, we have another uh, iron vein that we can tap into and that's what we're going to do today we're going to get this iron vein tapped into and then we should be able to completely get our production line going for our reinforced plates so let me uh, go ahead and get this out of the way and there we go now what we're going to put in here is another miner so we should have over here make sure i got this set up i got the two smelters set up so we are going to need to put in another miner so let's do this let's go to q and production and we're going to add that in to our to-do list can't remember oh i probably have a bunch of other what i think logistics i have a bunch of uh conveyor support belts what do i have in my to-do list oh power poles power lines and one space elevator which is takes up a lot of materials that i need Let's do this. Let's edit. Let's edit our to-do list. And let's remove the space elevator. There we go. That makes our mining list a lot better. Or our to-do list a lot better. Uh, so we need a... So let's get back over to Q. And let's hit... We need a splitter, so let's add one of those. Uh, we need two smelters, and that's over here, so we need two of these. And then I need three, I need another splitter actually, and I need uh, one, two, three, I'm looking at my diagram here and I need three constructors. So let's uh, go ahead and add those three, uh, three constructors. I think that's good to start with for right now. So we need to come down here and grab some concrete that's being produced for us. Uh, then we can, uh, Let's see. We'll have to make some reinforced plates, it looks like. So let's uh, run on down here. And grab concrete. So we're going to need at least 200 for our milestone as well. So we might as well, let's grab 500. And that gives us more than enough concrete for there, plus being able to put a couple of hundred 
over in for there. So, and then this should still be producing away. It is. All right. So let's get back up here. And the other thing too is we might have to add some more biomass burners in and we'll want to finish building that out. I'll have up to six biomass burners over there, which should be more than enough to keep this running over here. So I think we still have enough for the uh, miner. So let's go ahead and put that in. Uh, miner, I think, yeah. So we need to turn this thing around. I kind of need it pointing out this away because we have that other vein that we're going to be running off of. And so this needs to come over. So this will need to come over and up. And so the next thing we need to do is put in, uh, let's see, I need, well, I better go build, let's go over here, we need to grab plates, and we're going to need to make some rods, so let's see, do we have any? Thing. Oh, we do. Grab these here. So this should allow us to be able to make... Let's grab a couple of these. And uh, where are we at? Right over here. First off, let's drop off some of this concrete. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. There we go. Uh, and so we need iron plates and reinforced plates. So I need six reinforced plates. So let's let's see how much we can make. Uh, I need to make iron rods so I can make screws. So let's get some iron rods made. And that's going to give us plenty of iron rods. It would be nice to get those reinforced plates made. I don't know how many reinforced. So, all right, let's go with that. Let's make some more iron plates. While we're here, I know I have a constructor out there making iron plates and we could grab some over there and we probably will do that as well. But I do know I needed it for here. So let's see. So let's make these screws and let's see how many of these iron plates we can make. What we may do is get the uh, production online and then uh, those 50 iron uh, reinforced plates that we need. All right, so we've got uh, enough to make the iron plates or the reinforced iron plates. And that will allow us, there we go. So we can start getting stuff built over here. And then this stuff, everything that we're making now is going to give us the ability to start making the items that we need for the space, space elevator. So, uh, let's see. So I need, what I need is smelters. Uh, actually, you know what? First off, I need to put a splitter in. Let's do this. Uh, logistics, logistics, and we need a splitter. So let's see. So we're going to this in right about here. Alright. Come on. Get lined up. There we go. Let's hit H. That puts it in place. Now we can kind of nudge it 
this way a little bit and then we should be able to come out facing this way and then out the side right there put that in place all right now we can get uh get our smelters in place uh let's make sure okay that's the right way and let's see how we are lined up here. Get that right on. there. All right, let's see how that looks. Uh, we'll probably have to bend over just a little bit so that we can avoid this vein. And then that should give us enough room to be able to put another one right here so let's uh let's just nudge this one just a touch closer i think that's good right there so let's go ahead and put that in place now we need another one in let's see if we can get this one lined up right there all right, so that gives us, that's lined up right there. And then we should be able to come right out here and into there. Uh, so that will work out. So let's put that in right there. Now let's uh, get three. Hopefully we got enough to build this stuff. Put that in right to there. And then we're going to put this one in right in to there. Okay, let's uh, get out of there. All right. Oh, we better hook this up over here as well. And put that in there. Okay. So as far as for power, <laughs> This takes five megawatts, if we look at this, uh, five megawatts, and each of these takes, oh, actually, let's do this. Before I forget, let's, uh, we're going to make this into iron. And we got the big guy that just walked over the top of us. Uh, so these are going to be for all iron. Uh, so let's uh, configure this for iron. And these should take 4 megawatts. So that's a total of 8 and 5 is 13 megawatts. So we still should have excess power. Alright, so now... We need to put in... So I gotta get these constructors in over here. And I'm gonna have to swing these out and around. We're gonna put a splitter in on this one right here. Uh, so, let's do this. So I need three constructors. All right, let's see. I got things going here. All right, so these are my constructors right here that I built. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to put in... I think I want to put in some storage. <coughs> uh, yeah, let me put in... Well, looking at my plans here, I'm trying to get make sure I've got this figured out. Uh, should I put in storage? I've got storage coming in here. So these are getting... We've got plenty of storage coming into here. And then we've got storage over there. I may not worry about putting storage on these two. And if I feel like I need to when we go to start building out from this one, 
then we can always put more storage for our iron. So let's go ahead and uh, I need to put in another splitter. Uh, first, let's see, and I want to put that splitter in right. So we want to turn this around. Put that splitter in right about here. That will allow, well, let's move it over. Let's put it right there. And I think I can get this to come into there. And then we're gonna split off of this side and this side. Okay. Yeah, let's put that in right there. And then let's see if we've got enough. See if this will hook into there. It will. Okay. Uh. All right. So we've got that into place off of that splitter. All right. I still need to put in <coughs> my three constructors. So let's do this. Uh, if we put, let's see, this has to be in front of that splitter somewhat. If we put this in, let's see how this will look over here. We're trying to maximize our space. So if we put this right about here because this is going to come uh, out of that first smelter I put in into here and then this is going to come in this is going to be making plates so let's just hit the H hold that into place let's see how this looks Uh, just to save on some space, we could probably nudge this back just a little bit. And let's put that right there. Now this one we're going to have to move forward just a little bit. And... Let's see what we got here. Uh, all right, let's hit H. Let's see if that still leaves us enough room. It should. And if we have to, we can take these out and rebuild them. Uh, and then, I think, because again, when we get ready to put this this one in, that's going to have to kind of angle over here. So, let's see if we can get this last constructor in place. Uh, constructor... Oh, wait a minute. I've got... Alright, I've got to put two more constructors. So if we bring this one... Put this one in right here. And... Come on, where's our line? I'd like to get that somewhat lined up. doesn't always want to let's let's see how that looks right there Pull, put it over as close as we can so 
that it's not clipping. Hit H. All right. So those should interfere. We should be able to come out at this side one right into there. Okay. Let's put that in. All right, let's start connecting these up while we can. All right, this one's going to come out over into here. Uh, we need some more iron plates. All right, we can do that. Uh, we should have a bunch of iron plates over here. And we do, so let's grab a couple of hundred of these. Yeah, let's just grab even more, because we are going to need them. All right. Now, let's see if we can get this into place. I still have to put one more constructor in here. All right, let's try this again. Three. There, over into there. And we've got to come out of here. Alright, that has that. And then this one's going to come up. And do that third constructor. So let's go back to that. Alright. I'm going to put this one up here. Let's see. This... This is where it starts getting a little complicated on... Oh. Ah. All right. Our... Meant to hit the W and move forward a little bit. Let's see. Let's put that right there. Hit H. I think that'll still leave me room to place a miner right here when we get ready. Uh, we're probably going to have to run those out this direction a little bit once we get to that point. Uh, we don't need that iron yet. Uh, and so this will all right, so This constructor should be making rods. So this is coming out of this splitter here. Yeah, let's put that right there. All right, three. And then this comes out of here and into this. All right, let's get these recipes set up. All right, this one is going to be making rods. Iron rods, okay. And this one is going to be making rods. All right. And then this one is going to be making more iron plates. Okay. So now we have this this is a merge and this one so uh if we go to three right here i think if we move this over to about here it's got to come in to there that's uh Go ahead and do that. And we're going to put that into there like that. All right. Okay. So that has our iron plates. So I've got one, two, three. Three iron plates. And they're going to be coming into this merge which ultimately will 
be coming in to make our reinforced plates. Okay. Now, I need to make, I guess, according to my plans, I've got the plates and I got the two rods. So this comes into a, so these two have to come into a merge block here. So let's do this, see if I've got enough for a merge block. Logistics. All right. So this merge block is going to come into here like this. It's got to connect into those two constructors. So let's hit H. Uh, I only need two. So this one can come into this side, and this one can come into the front. I think that's pretty good right there. Let's go ahead and put that in. All right, so this will come in out of there into there. And then this one will come in there into there. Hope I did that right. And then, so those will Verge and then come out the front here. Okay. So that has our rods built out to where they're merging in. And then what we're going to do is put a splitter in right here. Well, we can put it right here. Because we need to split those rods so that they will make uh, that's going to make our screws okay well, let's do this I need another so this is going to put you know what you know what I want to put in right here I want to put a storage in for those rods. So let's do that. That way. H. All right, that's lined up. So that'll come into there like that. And we can nudge that back a little bit. All right, let's put that in right there. And then hit three. Put that into there. All right. At this point, we should... Let's see if we can get some of these turned on. Uh... My power grid can produce, uh, I have a capacity of 90 megawatts and I currently <coughs> have a max of 63. So let's see how much we can hook up here. Uh, We come over here. Probably I'm going to need to put, put a power pole in. So if we put a power pole in right here. Let me see. 
I have Oh I got this oh I got this hooked in <coughs> Ooh, excuse me over there So I have one slot left right here I also have power poles over here I can come off of. Because this is all hooked into the same power grid right now. Uh, so why don't I do this? If I put a power pole in right here. What is there? And we could put one in right here. All right. Now we should be able to take wire and run it, say, from... That one's already... Uh... All right, I have an open connection here. Let's do that. Let's put that into there. And then we can run that down to here. And then we can take this one over to here. And that leaves one left there so that we can extend out. Uh... So let's take and connect that to there. And then we'll connect that to there. And that still leaves one open space which we can put another pole on. Now let's take a look at our power grid and see how our how much power we're using. All right, so our max consumption is at 76, and our capacity is at 90. So we still have a little bit of room left on this power grid over here. Uh, if we put in, let's put another power pole in up here. that we can start and then we will connect oh that's not the one I wanted this so we can connect that into that power pole and let's uh let's connect that into there and we'll connect that into there and so let's see how we are as far as when oh, I still have one more over here to connect in. Alright, so let's So right now, we're still at max construction of 84, and we're at 90. So these constructors, constructors take four. So I should be able to hook this last one in. And I need to make another, put another power pole in here. So we might as well put that in right about here. There we go. And then we can go ahead and hook that wire to there. And let's see if that wire to there. 
All right, that brings everything online that we've built so far. And let's... That should bring us to 88, and it does. All right. The other thing we got to check on here, let's make sure our biomass... See how much biomass we've got going. Ultimately, next episode, we're going to build out this biomass construction. So we still have 102 in here. So we're almost at, at maximum limit. All right. So that gives us our ability to make our rods that we're going to need for screws. It's going to, we're getting our plates that we need. And for our reinforced plates. So we'll have that uh, construction coming out here. All right. Uh, all right, so let me look at what's next. I'd like to get at least one milestone done today. So we may not get all the way out to our reinforced plates today. Uh, I, think, I think what I'm going to do is Let's grab, we've got rods being made so we can get our logistics. So the only thing we've got to make over there is reinforced plates. So we should start seeing rods here. Let's grab these 68 rods. And we'll grab some more plates. And then that way we can get those for the logistics. Obviously we need to grab a bunch of these. And they are making them for us, so we don't have to make those. And so, you know what we're going to have to do? We probably won't have enough rods or... Yeah, so we need to grab some more ingots. Let's just grab some more ingots here. And then let's see if we can get uh, this logistics stuff done. First off, let's see if we got it grabbed enough iron plates. All right, so we've got the plates. <coughs> We're not going to use up our rods yet, so let's uh, let's go ahead and make some screws. And see how many reinforced plates we can make. It'll be good to get another uh, milestone done today. Even though we uh, probably are not going to get all the way to the reinforced plates, that'll leave. Uh, next time we'll need to build uh, three constructors along with uh, some splitters and merge blocks. And then a couple of assemblers to get to our overall reinforced plates, which we're going to need for other things as we uh, build away. Uh, we've got 22. We can build 22 reinforced plates. And we needed 50. I don't think we're going to have quite enough. We'll have to make some more rods, but that's why we grabbed the uh, iron ingots. And I guess I've got some iron ore on me, so what I might end up doing is going ahead and make those just so that we can reduce our inventory. All right. There's all the screws. Let's go ahead and pound these out. Get that done. And we can make 43 iron, reinforced iron plates. All right, let's make some more 
iron rods. And see if we can get to that point of reinforced plates. All right, let's make these screws. All right, there's 44, 45, 46, 7, and all right, we can make, let's do that. Get these iron plates made, and then uh, we can we can still make 198 iron rods. We should be able to go and grab some more rods out of the other place as well. So hopefully, hopefully we can get this logistics MK2 done, and then we can pick out another uh, milestone to work on. But we also uh, need to get started on building that space elevator. So we may do that in the next episode, but I do want to get these reinforced plates done. Because I believe we're going to need a bunch of those for that space elevator. All right. 13 to go. 12. We're almost there. And okay, let's go ahead and make some rods just to make a few more because they'll pound out fairly quickly. And so we've already loaded up the plates, we just needed the rods and the uh, reinforced plate. So we can put the reinforced plates over there now, <coughs> along with the few rods that we have. And then hopefully we've got more made over there now by this point. All right, getting close. I know this is a little bit more of the boring portion of this, but we've got to do it. All right. All right. There we go. There's 50. Let's put these rods in and these. <coughs> so we don't need that many. So hopefully we have managed to... over here the rods are being stored and we'll grab what we can oh yeah we're going to need these rods so let's grab those and then we can get a milestone done hop over here okay all right uh there we go, milestone. <coughs> All right, let's launch. Milestone reached. Fixit would like to remind you of your contractual obligation towards efficiency. Recreational use of belts and lifts does not count towards work hours and will put you on the list. Stay efficient, don't disappoint Fixit. Well, we don't want to disappoint Fixit, that's for damn sure. All right, so that is heading up. That'll be back in five minutes. <coughs> but let's see what we want to do for our next milestone. So we, we've got to finish these out in order to get to our next phase, which is uh, tier three. So jump pads takes rotors and this takes copper wire rods and everything that we're making so let's go ahead and select this milestone and then that way uh once we get to the point of building rotors then we'll be able to get it that next milestone after that so this is in place 
So we've got that milestone. All right, so we've been going about 45 minutes. I think, <coughs> oh, excuse me, uh, we're coming to a good spot and a good spot for me as well uh, to uh, kind of rest my voice. So the next episode, we will build out more bio bur biomass burners because we're going to need those to be able to have power for the rest of this build out here, which because we're going to be getting into assemblers, which we should already have as part of our production. We've got assemblers right there, which means we need uh, rotors. And so we're going to have to be building rotors. And again, we want to get uh, to where we can build those reinforced iron plates as well. Uh, all right, I think what I am going to do after I get uh, done here is go ahead and do some more, uh, actually logging, basically. I'm going to go and grab a bunch of more stuff and make some more biofuel uh, so that we can keep our burners going. And then we're also going to start building that out. Uh, my biomass is made up of six burners, and those go into splitters and storage and all kinds of stuff. But I'll have uh, constructors that will turn leaves into biomass material, and then I'll have another constructor that will build our solid biofuel, which then will automatically feed into the burners. But that's for, uh, I'm not sure if it'll be the next episode or the episode after that, but we'll get that those biomass burners all built out. All right, well, our, let's see, our space uh, elevator will be coming back, but I think we're going to call it good right here. Okay, Pioneers, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the video. And uh, please subscribe. That'll really help the channel. Uh, I continue to try to build and grow the channel and so that I can continue to bring uh, content. Uh, I just enjoy playing the game. So hopefully you enjoy following along. Okay, I think with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.